Hey guys, welcome to another Unity UI tutorial today and this is going to be creating a UI slider. We can update this object on here and then I will discuss other ways that you can update this, be able to change settings and this will use Text Mesh Pro and we will look at creating it and making the script. Just want to start by saying if everybody can give the video a like, it would really, really help me out and that would be absolutely fantastic. So thanks very much. But you can start off by having a canvas in your scene, which you can right click UI and choose canvas. Once you've got a canvas, I've just got a background and I've just got a just a little bit of a text UI there using TextMesh Pro. We can right click on the canvas, choose UI and then we can choose a slider. We'll get a default slider that looks a little bit like this. We'll grab the corners, I'll hold shift and I'm just going to scale this up like so. We get it that looks a little bit like this. You can have it however you want it to be. I don't really like the little circle that they give w with it. So if you go and drop down into the handle slide area and just untick the slider, you get a slider just like this. So when we press play, you can see that we can move it up and down like so. You can actually adjust the actual fill area. So if you select the handle slide area and just pull this all the way to the end in each case, like so, just so that it encapsulates the entire slider. If you go to the fill area, you can take the fill area and put that all the way to the end. And then also zoom in and grab the other one and put it all the way to the end. Also grab the actual fill object and just slide that all the way in so you can barely even see it. And then when we press play it in this instance, we now get our slider, which goes from nothing all the way to the full. So we don't get that odd look. So we just have to scale things in slightly. Then what we want to do is we want to be able to create a bit of text here that we want to update. So we can right click on our canvas again, choose UI and choose Text Mesh Pro. We can put this just in line with our box here. We can maybe scale this up to make it a little bit bigger. We can centralize it. What I'll do is I'll just make sure this has got just zero in the box. I'm actually going to put this to the left hand side just so that if it, the value gets too big, it'll go and move from left to right. Then we can up the actual size and we can maybe give it a bold and you can see it there like that. That's pretty much it now. We've got the slider, we've got the number, and we're ready to go. If we click on the actual slider object, you can see that it's got a value changed of naught between naught and one. And then it's got an unchanged event. So every time this value changes, you move that slider, we can do something. So we need to create a little script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create empty, and I'm going to create a little thing which will hold our script. So we'll just call this UI slider controller. Then I'm going to right click in our project, create new C sharp and call this slider controller. Then I'm going to open up in Visual Studio. Let me just say that you can get access to the scripts, this project and all my other projects and premium content from my Patreon, which you can check out today. And then in Visual Studio, we need to access the text mesh pro. So we can use at the top saying using TM pro with a semicolon on the end. So we can access everything that's from that. Uh, collection of namespaces. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write a square brackets serialized field and we'll say private text mesh pro UGUI for text mesh pro unity GUI and we'll just call this our slider text set it equal to null. We'll have another square brackets serialized field and then have this as private float then we'll set we'll make give this a name of maximum slider amount set that equal to 100.0f, which is just gonna be, instead of naught and one, we're gonna do this out of 100. So it makes it a little bit more um, usable, let's say, rather than going into decimal places. So now we need to write public void slider change. Then in brackets here, we're gonna have a parameter and we're gonna call this float and we're gonna give it a name of value. So it's gonna be whatever value we change when we adjust that slider. Then what we'll say, we'll say float and we'll just call this a local variable and we'll call this local value equals the value of which we've changed and then times by the max slider amount. So this just means whatever the value is between naught and one, we'll times it by a hundred, which will just move it two decimal places to the right. So we'll always get a positive whole number. Then we need to update that text box 
So we'll say slider text dot text equals our local value that we've just been able to get hold of to string and in brackets then in quotes we'll have a zero which just means that our local value which is the local variable is set to a string which is a whole number which this zero just means that it's whole number we could put point zero if you want to decimal places then we go on to our ui slider controller add that to that box we want the slider text so we could rename this text mesh pro text or we can just add it in for now we know that it's out of 100 then when we go back on our slider component we can add an on click or on changed and then I drag the UI controller there, select the script that we want, which is slider controller, select the slider change, which is actually a dynamic Boolean, which will change when we change. Then when we press play, you can see that we'll slide and we can go all the way to 100, all the way to zero, exactly how we expected it to go. As I said, instead of it being between naught and one, we just times by 100 to make it so. Do check this script out, these projects and all the rest of my great tutorial projects on my Patreon and you can get access to loads of premium content in there. Come and join me on Discord, check out my great assets on the Unity store and be sure to give me a like on this video because it would really really help me out. So thanks so so much.